Welcome back to another video and today with the SFS Mini camera which has some really interesting features one of which is the magnetic surface which will allow us to put it on any metallic surface opening a wide array of possible which is really awesome. Now we have seen some SFS products. Lastly, we have seen the installation on my dad's house of a smart video doorbell. I will leave a link right over here on the YouTube card so that you can check it out. So if you are looking for a solution for your door, that is a great option. We also have seen a more modest Wi-Fi indoor camera and soon I will share with you a outdoor camera with solar panel, which is just awesome. It will give us more possibilities to put it on remote locations where it's doing its own job and it doesn't require any source of energy because as long as we have sun, the camera will work. But today we are going to focus on the BC2. I will leave a link down below and just in case you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or Windows 11, I will also leave a link for KeysFan, which is a platform that we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen, you will get an extra discount. The BC2 is a really small size, palm size camera, 5 cm by 4 by 4. At the front we will have the 4 mm lens, which I will share with you the kind of image that we will get with the application as well. We also have a LED for the status, two infrareds, microphone and sensor. At the back we'll have the micro SD card slot, which will take up to 256 gigs, also a micro USB for charging reset button, power button and LED. At the top we'll have a speaker for the sound, so we'll have audio in both ways and inside we'll have a battery of 2000 milliamps which will last up to 50 days. So this is awesome if we want to put it somewhere where we don't have power. If we have continuous power either from a power bank or from the sockets then we will have continuous power and no issues whatsoever. If we have the camera on a location that we can put the solar panel then we can also connect to the solar panel that I'm testing out with the outdoor camera which is a great solution as well. It records a 1080 resolution, but have in mind that this video is 4K, so any image that I put here in 1080 it will be upscaled and then making the video to lose quality. Nonetheless, I will show you there some images captured during the daylight or office light to be more precise and also night time so that we can see the quality. Now, what I see with the phone is more than enough. I would say a really nice image quality for the kind of camera that it is but of course on the screen will not look as good and in a few moments I will share with you my app right over here so that we can see exactly what I see with the phone which is a more realistic test than just grabbing the footages and putting here on screen. Now before we do that in terms of the unboxing experience and the accessories we will have everything that we require including the cable to charge, the mini tripod which is magnetic so we can put it anywhere which is great and we can just put it or point it to any direction. And also the user guide and so on and so forth. In terms of setting it up, it's as easy as any as if is. Um, device. We have seen some in the past and it's just a matter of opening the app and then add a new device and the process is completely automatic. We just need to select the settings, which Wi-Fi we are going to use and so on and so forth and a matter in a few minutes we have the cameras working. And usually I put the app here on screen but that will not allow me to do something which is to put it on landscape mode. So this is one of the reasons that I do believe that the footage that you just saw on screen are not really realistic because we are not on a daily basis going to put the image to put it on a computer and watch it on a big screen. We are going to see it on our phone, live feed and so on and so forth. So this is what I see both day and night. So the image quality in my opinion is just awesome. But one of the things that I would like to show you right now is that if I press this button here for example I have another camera out the door which is I'm testing which is the one with solar panel and if I select it and if I press on play what it will allow me to do is have a multi-screen live view of all the cameras that I have set up and this is great and I will need to disable the volume right over here for this one and I will disable the volume that 
one right over there. So this is great because I can set up my own video surveillance system without having the need to get a classic video surveillance as we have seen here on the channel. So at this moment I've got a outdoor camera, I've got a indoor mini camera, but I can add more devices as if this has a wide array of choices. So I'll leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out. But the idea is this one, I can have four, I can have five, eight cameras without having the need to be all the same according to my needs. So probably on a baby's room, I will want one of these small cameras. On a kitchen, I will want a different kind of camera. On the backyard, I will want one of those with solar panel, which I don't have power outlet nearby. So I will adjust and I will increase my system according to that. So one of my favorite things on the app is the multi-screen live view. Let's go back and let's take a look at some things. Now here I can just take a snapshot, which I just did. Here I can start recording manually to my phone directly if I'm watching something that I want to record. Or of course I can grab from my um, micro SD or from the cloud, which at this moment is selected the cloud. I have a microphone right over here which I can start talking and what it will do is feedback at this moment so let's stop the talking but this will give me the chance to have a both way audio communication and then I've got also here the definition of the video so at this moment I'm full HD but if my Wi-Fi connection is weaker then I can select a standard or only high definition I can also select here the micro SD or cloud um, videos that we record and we can also go to the calendar if I'm searching for a certain day. Let me just check on the outdoor camera. I do believe, yeah, I do have um, this, some footages. I've got it configured to record some footages recording the uh, movements. And let me disable the audio. It's recording the motion detections that we have. And I thought I didn't enable, but it is enabled. So we can check right over here at this moment in the cloud. I'm not recording to the micro SD, so just to the cloud and we can I'm using the uh, trial but we can just check the plans right over here we can just configure and move on so this is the front panel options let's take a look at this button here which is to share across family or friends so I just need to put an email right over here or the phone number of the person that I want to share the device with and that is it it will share the device with that particular person. Now at this moment I have the uh, power working mode to plug in so it's always using the camera and this was necessary to record the video because it will not save or it will not interrupt the video feed so it is always active. If we choose any other mode it will activate itself with movement, it will activate itself with anything that happens to the camera, shakiness or something like that but when it's that idle it, it will not waste battery. So moving on we will have also the intelligent detection at this moment I only want human shape detection nothing else so if it's a dog or a cat or something in the wind it will not detect we also have the notifications right over here besides that I've got the audio settings which as you saw it was turned on so that we can have both way communication and besides the audio settings we have the image settings that we can choose from different three styles besides the three different levels of quality that we have seen light settings is about the LED that we have right over here. I can just turn it off if I want as I did and I can turn it back on so it will be spy camera style if we deactivate for example and there we go just had another notification and finally on this menu we have a battery well 27% remaining so not bad at all and besides we also have the cloud play we have the record list if we have a SD card in set which I don't have at this moment security settings network settings which I can check out if my Wi-Fi signal is strong enough or not and it will show me a live feed of what I'm getting to and then we also have device information with software updates and the shortcut to share the device and basically this is it regarding this camera and the software which is really really simple to use by the way we can also have some automations right over here because as it is besides security cameras also has some devices that will improve our home smart devices that we can configure to make some automatizations and if I go to the 
little library it will show me the footages that I have right over here so basically now this is it regarding the VC2 and the software from as if it's that being said hope that you guys enjoyed the video and hope that you guys enjoyed to know a little bit better about the VC2 and if you did don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one